Hi. So what are black holes? Black holes are objects that that if you come too close to a black hole, mm -hmm. you get taken in. So it's not like, so it's like it's a sinkhole. Yeah, it's like a sinkhole, but and a vacuum, vacuum cleaner. Like it's like a, it's like, it's like it's like a vacuum cleaner, but it sucks up everything. Mm. Yes, but but well, it doesn't suck. Yeah, it just sucks up everything. But it's like, well, but like a vacuum cleaner. If you, uh, like, 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 if, like, if you see. Like someone or your parents, like vacuuming, uh, like, like, like vacuuming something. You can see like air rushes in inside. Yes, like yes. the dust, you know, the dust. So that's like, so that is like, uh, uh an example of black hole. But instead mm -hmm. of just air rushing inside, we're gonna taste everything like dust, um, dust, gas, light, light, yeah, yeah, light, and and and. Stars and planets sometimes, sometimes, yeah, sometimes, and like, um, so, and because the because like black holes, mm -hmm. since like a vacuum cleaner, it uses like uh, it, it uses a fan or something, like a, a fan. vacuum cleaner, yeah, like vacuum cleaner uses like this fan to suck in, yeah, air. a fan to suck in air. Black holes don't use fans, yeah. but they, they use like. Uh, they use gravity, use, right? Yeah, yeah. They use like gravitational force. So, so it's not like there's this big giant fan taking in objects and then placing it in a box and then. It, it, imagine if there was a big giant fan, but then like someone actually tried to make a black hole, but but and they made a big giant fan, and then they realized there's no air in space. <laughs> imagine yeah. how such so, a great idea. Like, so there's no. So there, there, there isn't like a big giant fan inside the black. Yeah. It's like it's just based on gravity. Yeah, like it's just only gra so like so gravity takes the objects so that are too close inside it. And also, if you, for example, if you want to see what's inside a black hole, yeah, yeah, if you try going uh, too close, like maybe just like, but maybe just like maybe like a bit far, but not too close, until you get like sucked in, and then you come inside the black hole, and you can't come yeah. back. Yeah. Uh, if you 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 people from the outside or people or, or imagine if a black hole was very close to the sun, mm -hmm. yeah, and then they have like a, tel a telescope. Mm -hmm. If they see like you yeah. hovering outside the black hole, and then imagine if you did like some moves or anything or like dances, yeah? or if you said hi or if you or like or, or wave your hand, that means uh, that means the people in space seeing you or the people on earth you using the telescope will, will only be seeing it using in slow motion like imagine like doing hello but you do in slow motion but it's like like, like yeah. but the thing is like why why are you in slow motion if we say hello uh i don't really know wait is it because um black holes suck in time or something like that. Maybe the black holes suck in time or something. No, like like we don't exactly suck in time. Because from what I have read, black time. holes warp time. So the closer you are to a, so basically like the closer you, if you are closer, ah uh, yeah, you age more on Earth than in space. So, so if you go closer to a black hole, then time will will so move down. slower. So it's basically, so basically, yeah. So basically, if Earth, if if the Moon was replaced with a tiny black hole, that means you will age slower than than. Or is it the other way around? What do you think? I think that reason why, uh, I think that because black holes, reason why it's well, if the time is slow down because mm -hmm. black holes, if you come near a black hole, it warps time. So we, so we, it's like so, so it's slow motion, like warps time instead of just like instead warping yeah. time. So what? So are black holes dangerous to us now? Like, like no, could black holes be um like the ending of humanity or would? Or is there something more scarier than the black hole? Uh, black holes might not 
and humanity but there might be a possibility that it could end humanity because black holes uh it takes i don't know like a lot of years to make it go bigger or want to form like like you need to collide a black hole with of, something with like another black hole with something else to make it big bigger or, or, or one black hole and one black hole and then you collide it together and create a bigger black hole or if you or if a star explodes in a supernova or two or two neutral stars explode uh, fuse. Collide, collide but i have a question over here okay. see so two neutron stars yeah. they collide together but what will happen if there's four neutron stars and then they collide together four neutron stars yes so double yeah, like, like double okay so you know there's usually two neutron stars yeah okay. that event is pretty pr it doesn't happen every day in the milky way galaxy but four neutron stars like you're going to need to get like can you imagine you find a neutron star orbiting another neutron star that's rare but if you find a neutron star being orbited by two other neutron stars that's super rare but if you find a neutron star orbited by three other neutron stars then like what kind of luck do you have but mm -hmm. but, but my happen. my guess like i'm not sure if this is true so let's just find out maybe we'll find out something um that there'll be more gravitational waves because like if you remember like the like the documentary that we watched jim akalili went to ligo uh, and then he found out that ligo has like this really long laser tunnel Is and then it, it will something? yeah yeah and l and then it can detect tiny gravitational waves extremely tiny so they make a thousand of thousands of kilometer long um tube and then when they see aha this laser move this much they put it on a graph so these gravitational waves from two neutron stars ligo can detect it and then ligo notices that the gravitational waves are there gravitational waves are there because of a heavy mass orbiting each other again and again and again and again and then ligo notices this but for four neutron stars i'm not sure how 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 they would orbit like like it seems kind of chaotic because there's four neutron stars if that's true then we know it's like this but when there's four what is it gonna look like and then it might i'm guessing i'm guessing that that two neutron stars will collide mm -hmm. and then since and then and then when it's about to form to a black hole and then maybe like the gravitational force will pull those two neutron stars which combine into another black hole and then every bo and both of the black holes collide together to make a bigger black hole so it's like a bigger black hole or, or all four of them colliding to, to just make one the same big black hole yeah like it's going to be like two like two neutron stars to make a black hole then there's two more then there's double the neutron stars meaning double the size of a double the mass of a black hole which doesn't actually mean double the size of a black hole Cause like, like yes, um, the size of a black hole does scale with the mass, but it's it's not like um, double the mass means double the size. There's actually an equation called Schrodinger's. No, no, it's not Schrodinger's equation. It's um, for upper, it's the the Schwarzschild equation. Oh yeah. The Schwarzschild yeah. equation. Yeah. You can calculate the size of a black hole. Just based on the mass a and it's in solar masses imagine calculating it in grams like if you're um solar masses like and it has 1000 yeah it's going to be past like trillions so um so we use solar masses then we can plug it into this formula and we can find the um size of a black hole mm -hmm. okay. and yeah that's pretty much it yeah. thank you for giving me this talk about black holes yeah. So let's try to find a source on our four neutron star thing. Will it make any more gravitational um, waves? Or make it only. Or will it be just so chaotic? Cause like two sounds good, like it's just orbiting like this. But four, how's it gonna orbit? Is it going to be very chaotic? Maybe if so, will the gravitational waves be chaotic? Maybe when the four uh, neutron stars collide together, yeah. it will make. 
even stronger gravitational forces. So, so, so maybe like it's from like a different ga like like galaxy from the Andromeda yeah. the galaxy, which is like the neighbor galaxy. Yeah. And then so so the strong one will go to our galaxy, and then it'll, be, it'll become weak when when it reaches Earth. But but it's like strong. So it's a stronger gravitational yeah, wave. Like, so it's like stronger. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. But like, there's a chaos too to it, cause like four neutron stars, meaning like. Or maybe, or maybe like the graph. Oh yeah, yeah. Amazing. Have you heard scientists mm -hmm. have actually used like um water? Then they put a spiral in it to simulate black holes. Um, but then like I don't know about neutron stars. Okay. Oh, like, yeah, they, they can put water, they can put dye. It's like in the bathtub, like when you yeah, see yeah, the in the bathtub, bathtub when you see like the tornado thing. The tornado. That's what they're doing, but they're doing experiments based on it. So I don't know about neutron stars because we can't literally revolve a sink. Yeah. But, um, so let's just give it as a guess. I think it's going to be chaotic. The gravitational waves will be stronger and LIGO will pick up something that's stronger than the yeah, average. I think um, it's going to be chaotic gravitational waves so yeah. thank you for having this talk and conclusion from our discussion that i didn't even know the answer to so thank you bye-bye always stay curious and tune in to sankler bye bye bye, -bye.